Welcome to Forex Tester 2 video tutorials. In this tutorial we will tell you about how to use indicators. You can add a new indicator or oscillator to the chart with the help of this button. Or just simply click Insert, Add Indicator. Here you can see the indicators list. Select Moving Average, which is the simplest among all indicators. In this dialog window you can modify properties. Each indicator has its own properties that can be edited. There are two tabs, the parameters and the time frames tab. In the parameter tab to change any of the parameter you should just double click on the period for example, enter the value and click tab or enter key or any place by your mouse to save it. Some indicators have drop-down menus. Double click on MA type. You'll see this drop-down menu. Select the item from the list and click Enter. Double click to apply to price. In this drop-down menu select the necessary item and click Tab, for example. You can modify styles. For this, double-click. Click here. In this drop-down menu, you can edit the color, the style, and the width. Click OK. Click Tab or Enter key. In the Time Frames tab, select time frames where to put indicator for the chart. If you want to put it on more than one time frame, don't put it on all time frames because it can slow down the testing process. Put it only on those time frames where you need it. Every indicator is attached only to one time frame by default. Check the necessary time frames and click Apply. You will see this indicator only on the charts with 15 and 30 minute time frames. To edit the parameters, right click on the indicator, you can edit or delete it. Select Edit Moving Average. In this dialog window, you can also edit the parameters by double click and save by Enter or Tab key. Click Apply. And now let's add an oscillator. Oscillators are always displayed in a separate window. Click Insert, Add Indicator, select MACD. Click Apply. You can modify its parameters. Right-click on the line you can edit or delete. Select Edit. In this dialog window, you can see the Level tab. Select it. You can add, delete and edit the level. Let's add the level. Tap the level value within the chart range Select the line style. You can click this button and select the items from the drop-down menu or just press the G button, then your style will be the same as the grid. Click OK. Apply. Let's edit the color of the level. Right-click. Edit, select the level, click Edit Level. OK. Apply.
In the oscillator window, right click, you can add or delete all the indicators. Select, for example, envelopes. In this dialog window, you can edit any property by double click and apply the changes by clicking the tab or enter key, like this. The indicator can contain more than one line. Click Apply. Click this button to see the indicators list. You can see all the indicators in the list with all time frames. Select one of the indicator. You can click open the chart and see the chart with appropriate time frame or edit, delete, delete all of them. Choose the one and click delete. It disappears from the chart. Or you can also delete all existing indicators with all windows of all time frames at once. Click in this button. You can add an indicator with the help of File, Install, Install a new indicator. Select the file with your indicator. Then it will be displayed in the common indicators list. Though our program contains a great variety of all possible indicators, you can create your own indicators and add them to the program. You can create them by means of API. For more detailed information, visit our site and forum. Thank you for watching our video tutorial.